What's up everyone, Business here, and welcome to my channel which is all about music production, sound design, Ableton Live and all things related. And in today's video we're going to be talking about Guitar Rig 7 Player, which is a free version of a really cool plugin called Guitar Rig 7 Pro by Native Instruments. And today we will be trying to find it, we will be trying to install it and then test it out because I haven't seen that plugin yet, I don't know how does it sound, I don't know how to use it, so we will be discovering everything on the go. Uh, exciting. Okay, and now uh, also at the end we're going to be trying to create a preset with it. So uh, if it's easy to create a preset, how does it work like? Okay, but first let's think of what the Guitar Rig 7 player actually is. The player stands for like a free version of a guitar amp emulator. So the guitar processor. It is a guitar effect processor, so it's going to make your sound coming from your guitar. It's just going to make magic to it and it's going to spit it out sounding much better, hopefully. You can apply loads of different effects, some boxes, reverbs, delays, and uh, emulate different cabinets and different amps just to make your guitar sound as lovely as you like. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into the internet and let's try to find this plugin, download it, install it, and see how it works, how to do it. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we are on the Native Instruments website and we want to try to find this uh, Guitar Rig 7, how, how to get it. First, you probably tr want to try to log in or create an account if you don't have one yet. Let's go to the products and there is a nice tab probably called free because we see the Guitar Rig 7 Pro, uh, which is 199 euros, probably the same in dollars. Let's go to the free tab. What do we have here? We have complete start and we have Guitar Rig 7 player. Okay, let's click on that. Now, what does it say? Free amp simulator and multi effects rack. Awesome, perfect. Free download with complete start. Okay, so we want to click that because complete start is a package with not only Guitar Rig 7, but quite a few other instruments and effects that you probably want to have. And that's gonna get us to this website, this page, and how to access your free tools. If you don't have an account yet, just create it, it's very simple. And then you want to download Native Access 2 app, which is free, of course, you can download it, install it. It is like a plugin downloader app, which uh, checks all your licenses and makes sure the products are up to date. So it's really good to have this one. Actually, it's probably the only way to get the Guitar Rig 7. But once you have it, you click on this little button, get free software. And after clicking it, that's what you probably get. Add complete start to your account. Okay, get complete start. Let's click on that. Perfect. Complete start is now in native access. So once you have that native access app, you will see all these products there. And if you don't have it yet, you can of course download it for Windows or Mac. Yeah, everything is here. Very simple. So I actually have this app installed already. So let's open it up. Okay, so here we are in the native access app, the newer one, the back one. And it's very easy to install the Guitar X7. You just go to this tab here. Oh, you can sort by these uh, these little tabs here, but you will easily find the Guitar X7 player here. And just click install, and it's just gonna install the plugin. That's that. That's it basically. It takes a couple minutes, depending of course on your internet bandwidth. Once it's installed, it's gonna be here in this tab installed, and we have it here, Guitar X7 player. And if you want to learn how to plug in or set up your guitar inside Ableton Live for recording, just watch this video here in the top corner next. If you, for example, had your DAW already on and you don't see the plugin yet, there's a simple thing to do. You go to settings here in Live and go to the plugins and just click rescan plugins. That's going to rescan all the new plugins and add all the new ones to the list on the side here. Okay, let's see if we have this Guitar Rig 7 somewhere here. So let's go to the plugins. We go to VC3 Native Instruments Guitar Rig 7. There we go. Okay, that's great. Let's drag it onto new track. Importing rack presets. Okay, I guess my screen is quite small, but we can we can clearly see everything. It has a slightly different uh, layout. We have some signal flow here on the side which is cool and everything seems to be very similar to the other ones which is going to make things easier. So we have some presets, we have components, delay, equalizer, uh, jump, that's the amp for sure, so LFO, flanger chorus, matched cabinets. Okay, let's grab a guitar. Well, let's plug the guitar in, set up our interface and let's set up the Ableton. Okay, so I have my guitar set up and I have my guitar tuned. Let's uh, launch the Guitar Rig 7. And uh, that's how it looks. That's how it sounds. Just a clean tone. 
So let's uh, try something. Let's go to input sources, pick a guitar, and then we have only the guitar presets here, which is what, 32 presets. Okay, very good. And let's uh, try the first one. Rockseeker, there's a new amp, fire sticker. Okay, how does it sound like? Okay, that's loud. Okay, that sounds cool. Almost clean, fire sticker. Okay, and then let's try maybe another one or two. Uh, something hard, is it? Like, that's what's happening sometimes, and that used to happen before in the Guitar Rig 6. And it seems like some of the parameters are muted. So, like, I can see the guitar signal is coming in. It's coming in, but it's not coming out. So what can we do about that? Like I can smash that up the compressor, but I don't know if that's going to help. We don't even have an amp here, to be honest. So how are we going to get the sound out? Delay output here and everything. Well, okay, that's just a mix. Studio reverb. Well, okay, let's let's try something else then. And this again, for some reason, I'm getting new presets and they are already turned down on the master. It's not a big problem, but like I'm choosing a preset and I want to be able to play it right away. For some reason it doesn't work like that. Let's try something different. And this is also turned down. I don't know if it's something wrong with my Ableton or something with the plugin. I have an idea. Let's launch the Guitar Rig 7 standalone app, not in the DAW. So let's quit the DAW. Okay, so we have the clean tone. This is Guitar Rig 7 app. It's not inside the DW, so inside Ableton. It's like a standalone version, so let's try to do the same. Let's start with the guitar, and we know the first one used to work. Almost clean fire seeker. Okay, this one's working fine. Solo seeker. This one's working fine. Okay, this one's working fine. Uh, there was one that didn't work. Let's try this one. Joey, Joey Jump. Like, you see, it's working here. So everything seems to be working here. Uh, let's try one more preset. Cool, everything's working. So let's try to create our own preset. Okay, so let's delete all these here. Let's first shift last one, press backspace or delete. Does it work? No, right click, delete. And let's try to find our components. So first we're gonna try the new amp and it's called Fireseeker. Okay, does it work? Okay. Bring down the gain. Sounds really actually nice. I like it. Let's uh, put something on it. Let's put a like fuzz. There's something new here, I see. Before the cabinet. It is a bit quiet though. Okay, cool. Let's split it. So let's split the sound here and mix it so. The fuzz is going to be on A side, and the screamer is going to be on the B side. So it's mixing it all together, but let's pan them. So let's pan one left, one right. That's crazy, sounds really lovely. like you play two guitars at the same time. 
Really cool. It sounds massive, I have to say. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, actually. I can get the Guitar Rig 7 player and I'll be happy with it. I wouldn't even need to buy a full version, but, well, maybe, maybe. Now, what do you feel, how it was? For me, it sounded really awesome, except for that little tiny problem with the volume inside DW that some of the presets were silent. I had to crank the volume up manually, uh, which is not ideal. But if you launch the standalone app, it works perfect. But let me know in the comments down below how does it behave in your DW and in your case maybe it's completely different, maybe there's something wrong with my computer that I might try to investigate. That's it from me for today. Thanks so much for watching and see you guys next video. Cheers!